In this video we're looking at five straps for the Oculus Quest 2 and today we're going to decide which one's the best. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, the channel that aims to bring you helpful and entertaining Quest and VR content. If that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button to join the great community. You can leave anytime you like. Oh, go back! Oh, go back! Well done to Aqualook Egedi, who got all the clips from the last video, 28 days later really caused a lot of problems. So as promised we're taking a look at the 5 Quest 2 straps that I have all at once. So that's the stock strap, the elite strap, the Eligo cheap elite strap and the deluxe audio strap and the halo strap. Don't forget I've done individual reviews of all of those straps so if you want to see them in more detail do check out the channel. The two straps I'm still waiting on are the Pro Head Mount. Sorry about that, wrong clip. Here is the Pro Head Mount, or the Geiger Strap as I like to call it. I'm currently in a queue waiting for one to be available. I was 266, but I have no idea where I am right now. And of course, there's the Elite Battery Strap, which is basically the same as the Elite Strap, but with a battery on the back. We'll talk about what cases they're fitting, comfort, price, and all the stuff you'd expect me to talk about when talking about straps. And hopefully, this is gonna be the last video I do about straps for a good while, but it's good to have them all together. Cross the boundaries that divide one universe from another. Got to lock onto his so in we go. So what we got here, we've got the uh, this is the the Eligo strap. Remember the cheap? They're called Essimen in America, apparently, or in, uh, they go by Eligo in England. Then we've got the the DAS, the Deluxe Audio strap, which I've currently got a battery pack on the back, and obviously that comes with its own inbuilt headphones, which is why it's called an audio strap. And then we got the good old elite the this is the one i sat on and threw down the stairs and we've got the halo which i'm currently connected to just because it goes on and off really easily i've uh, i've found i quite like the um the ease of use of that and then obviously the stock strap that comes with it so let's talk about price first of all let's put them in order yeah i mean the most expensive let's put that this side so the most expensive is the deluxe audio strap which remember is built for the htc vive which is why it says vive on there uh, it comes in about 110 pounds but it also needs adapters that cost about another 10 pounds so it's about 120 pounds very expensive for a, a strap next up is the elite strap now i haven't got the elite battery strap the elite battery strap would be 130 pounds but it comes with a case which you've actually got right here that costs 50 pounds on its own. So that means the Elite Battery Strap is probably about 80 pounds. This is 50, so you're paying another 30 pounds for a battery. Then we've got the Halo, and we've got the Eligo, which normally they're about roughly the same pound, same price. Because these can be found on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, same with the Halo strap. Mine's a black one that I got, but most of them come in white. They're on the same thing. They always cost from somewhere between 25 to 35 pounds. And obviously the stock strap, the stock strap came with the Quest, so technically it's free. So, there we go. So most expensive, coming down to the cheapest. Now this one, because some of you might know that I ordered a white strap and it didn't come because they i think that they were resellers and they were trying to they were selling it but they were going to buy it from aliexpress and then and then sell it to me and then they realized that they couldn't get one so they said it got lost in the post but it, it probably didn't i've got my money back so it's no problem so i ordered this one because it came the next day this is on amazon but it's 70 pounds which is way more than you should be paying for a halo strap because i'm 99 percent sure that this is exactly the same quality as the white ones. A lot of people in the comments of my Halo video have said that you get the same PU lever on the inside of the white ones as well. So yeah, pretty sure that's exactly the same. So let's talk about things I like about each one. So let's start with the stock strap. What do I like about the stock strap? I like the fact that it's cheap. Right, next. <laughs> that's not the only reason why so connected the quest back up to the stock strap here we go now one thing i really like about the stock strap is the fact that it's just so tiny so basically this old case that i've shown countless times was for the quest one 
but it pops in there so small like that it just means there's plenty of room for everything just to go in there and it just goes in really nice ta-da in the little case that's what i like about the stock strap and it's not as bad it's not as bad as people say you can wear it in such a way that it's fairly comfortable but the problem is because it is elasticated and it, it generally just to wear it properly you've got to have it pushing against your face and after a bit it kind of hurts but it's not that bad so the halo strap it's called a halo strap because it's literally got a whole halo around your head because it's got this this bit here that bit there goes against your forehead and none of the other straps have got that okay so when you tighten the halo strap it pulls the that against your forehead so it tightens that up instead of pushing this against your face so if you've got a problem with the other straps causing too much pressure on your face halo strap might be the answer because then it transfers the pressure onto your forehead instead and then technically if you can see that the front bit the, the actual unit is kind of floating in front of your face so that's it pressure on your head instead of your face i don't really find any of these to be a problem on my face and i did find that with this i felt like i had to have it tighter than the others to have it secure and because i had to have it tighter than the others i actually felt the extra pressure on my head was worse than the pressure these ever put on my face however recently i've been taken to just using the halo strap a lot just because it's so easy to put on and take off again it's just nice and fast it just comes on goes on it's just i mean it moves around a bit but i don't really actually shake my head that much so i do like that strap and if you can get one for like 30 pound 30, 35 pound it's actually yeah it's actually a really really good deal plus it comes on and off really quick and secret weapon for the halo take this off take that off and because it hangs in front of your face what you can do is you can actually have it a bit closer to your eyes kind of wearing them like glasses increasing the field of view yeah just like you could do with the rift s is if anyone ever did that you take the rift s uh, face guard off put it right up against your eyes field of view is amazing so yeah that's something you can do with the halo strap that i quite like right i've got the mantis headphones on now the problem i've said this before on the actual video the problem with the mantis headphones is that the way they clip on they can only go on this flat part of the strap it won't go on over this bit because it's too big and there's padding and it won't obviously go over here because of the padding so it's only got that little bit there so if you uh, when you put it on it's quite far back now now i've adjusted the strap a bit better it is closer to my ears and they can sort of fit over the top of my ears so some people actually if your ears are a bit further back than mine they might go on your ears okay but if you see there they're not fully over them so it's not ideal but it's not totally nowhere near my ears so you might have some joy with that so halo strap uh if you can get 35 pound really good comfortable um easy to get on easy to get off and you can have the take that off to kind of do the fov trick in 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 practice you probably wouldn't want to use it for a long period of time like that oops but it's cool to try out so now we have the iligo smn almost an elite strap strap it's not an elite strap obviously um before we talk about that the halo strap does not fit into the small cheap case none of the straps here fit into that cheap case the halo strap actually could go in if you took it off and like fold it around but it put a lot of pressure onto the controllers and i wouldn't recommend it uh, the halo strap also goes into that with a bit of jiggery pokery and also i wouldn't really recommend it but you technically can put the halo strap inside the elite case is that what you call it the oculus official case request too 
Okay, but yeah, there's my halo strap. This one does not go in any of my current cases. Obviously not the little one. Doesn't go into this one because it's too big. So this can last, when did this come? Friday, Saturday? It came yesterday, it came yesterday. This doesn't go in there because basically the back of it is too tall. So uh, I think that's backwards, yeah, that's backwards. So yeah, even when you shorten that, that, way too tall, doesn't close. There is a case that is designed for this exact strap. Um, it wasn't due to come after Christmas, so I haven't ordered it. I've ordered a different one though, which is due to come just before Christmas, so I'll let you know about that when that comes. But yeah, sadly, I don't have a case that this fits. But comfort-wise, I mean, like, this is this is considering you can get this strap for uh, twenty odd pound. It's not a bad strap at all. Just the top strap, it's very important. Um, the back, I've said before, is quite big. It's, it doesn't need to be that big because a lot of it isn't even touching my head. That's not touching my head. Under there, that doesn't touch my head. And you can have it in such a way that some people find it brushes their ears and annoys them. It doesn't hurt your ears or anything like that. It just brushes it. But you can always readjust it to have it not touch your ears. Like mine doesn't touch my ears at the moment. But very good strap for the price. And it's comfortable. Definitely more comfortable than the stock strap. Um, I'll put them in order of comfort in a second after I've looked at all of them. So, yeah, that's the Elite, the uh, LIGO fake Elite strap. It's got... The Velcro padding at the back, it's it's a spongy material, so it will soak up the sweat. It's not PU leather, not really wipeable. So that is one drawback to this one. Before we move on, one more thing about the Aligo strap is that as long as you've got this bit sticking out, it takes the, the Mantis earphones really well. They look really good together. It, it takes these so well that it's as if they're actually been made for things. And like I said before, the Aligo earphones, the clip on 360 ones, don't actually fit on the same branded strap. Weird. So the Elite Strap, the infamous Elite Strap. Now I find the Elite Strap to be massively comfortable. The drawbacks to the Elite Strap are that it's not spring-loaded. Some people don't like spring-loaded straps actually. I like to be able to pull it off, but when I get it on like that, I wanna be able to pull that and lift it. You can still just take it off by bringing the back up. So it's not that bad. You can take it off really quick, but a lot of people will get worried about the Elite straps because so many of them broke. So because so many of them broke, people don't want to lift it off their head like that. I have done a video where I've taken this off forcefully when it's on full tightness. Uh, I think it's 250 times and it seems okay. And I've sat on this and I've thrown it down the stairs and I've bent it. Um, so mine has actually taken a lot of punishment. So I'm not scared of breaking it anymore. Personally, this strap seems pretty good. Um, I really like the back rubber bit because I find it cups my head really well. So it doesn't shift around, which means I actually don't have to have it that tight. So I really like that for that. And obviously, because this strap is designed for this case, it fits in the case really well. So this is the official Oculus strap going in the official Oculus case. Because one good thing about the Elite Strap is that it's so flat at the back. It doesn't, it's not sticking up that far like this big thing. So it goes in nice and easy. By the way, this case is so odd with this piece of string. It's just like weird the way it's just designed with the zip on the inside. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they didn't they just put it on the outside and have a normal zip rather than a piece, piece of string. Anyway, so that's the Elite. Obviously, massively comfortable. Uh, nice and flat goes into the the official case as you'd expect and but it's 50 pounds so it might be a bit expensive for a strap considering i've got this strap for 120 though 50 is not that bad and also the mantis headphones fit but you need to do a little trick to extend them and put them over there but they do fit and uh questionable build quality mine seems okay but you might be, uh, there might be dodgy ones that you might have got. Uh, and plenty of people have had them break. You can't currently get them, although every now and again they pop up at Argos, so you can get them. But I think Oculus are doing something at the moment, maybe testing them. I don't know. They really want to get them released before Christmas, otherwise everyone's just going to buy different ones. 
Right, one last thing about the Elite strap is because this cut part here is totally rubber, this strap is basically sweat proof. So if you pair it up with a nice PU leather face interface for the Quest 2, your Quest 2 becomes sweat proof with that. So moving on to the Deluxe Audio strap, which I've upgraded with this at the back. That is a CarMass, CarMass battery pack. I've got an Anchor one as well, 20,000 thingamajiggies. This is 10,000. Uh, so quite a high capacity battery pack, which I tend to have plugged in all the time. So now it's currently charging at my Quest. And, uh, and you can charge this while it charges the Quest as well. So I can plug that in. The, the mount from AMVR fits perfectly on the back. It's actually designed for the Deluxe Audio Strap and the Quest 1. So uh, that was £20. And it comes with this really cool magnetic charging cable. So that's there. That just kind of pops off. You can pop it back on again. So when you take it off, there's a thing that's stuck inside, into the, in there, there, like that, and it just pops on. It's really cool, I like it. And it acts as a nice counterweight, which I've never actually had a counterweight before. And having it for the first time, it just feels so balanced. It's really nice. Um, I found with the Deluxe Audio strap that you need to wear it. Uh, someone told me this actually in the comments when I did the video on the Deluxe Audio strap, that you should wear it a bit lower like try and push it down the back a bit more. I had it quite high like that, which was fine. It was still comfortable, but the I found the the earphones wouldn't stay in. But now, now I have it a bit lower. I don't really have any problems with the earphones at all. Um, one great thing about the Deluxe Audio Strap, obviously, is the fact that it's got sound. Uh, the quality of these is decent. They're not like audio file quality, but it's got a good... Uh, treble bass and mids mix um, obviously if, if I think clarity wise it's not like as perfectly clear as like some really expensive headphones would be but for kind of mid-range quality headphones these are these are really good they're definitely better than the the mantis ones uh, it's better than stock loads better than those clip-on ones I had before so I, I really like them I really like these earphones I'm very impressed with these. I love this strap. I find it extremely comfortable. Uh, the only problem I've found is that since putting the battery pack on, I've realized I can't lie back. If I wanted to watch a movie or something like that, I can't rest my head back because of this. And it's not exactly easy to clip on and take off a lot, which is why I've been using the Halo quite a lot. So yeah, that's the Deluxe Audio strap. Um, it does have a sponge backing, which obviously would not be sweat proof. Um, but you can replace it with uh, a PU level one from I think I think VR cover might do one or AMVR, but uh, you can get that. I I wouldn't really do like boxing in this though. It's a bit big for that. I would if I was going to do boxing with this, which I don't because I use my Quest One. I would probably switch off the switch out the strap for um, probably the the Elite strap or something. So anyway, yeah, Deluxe Audio strap. It is expensive. It is meant for the vibe. You do need to buy adapters. You can get different styles. This one fits over the whole thing and you can get a white style that uh, is a bit more minimalist. I prefer the look of these though. So yeah, I, I love this strap, but it is very expensive. So let's let's do um, let's do the comfort. I find per personally that the least comfortable strap is this one. The stock strap, still not as bad as people say. Then, it's a toss up between this and the Halo. By the way, from this point onwards, all the straps are comfortable. They are all comfortable straps. Oh, by the way, the Deluxe Audio strap does not fit in this, obviously. Uh, some I haven't tried this in a case yet, but some people have suggested a Rift S case for it, and that fits. And other people have suggested the Vive Cosmos case. Um, I haven't managed to get one of those yet that comes like quickly for delivery. So at some point I'll have a look, maybe after the, in the new year. So comfort. So yeah, stark over there is quite a lot less comfortable than these. Then I'd say these two about the same. Then I'd go with the Deluxe Audio Strap 
Then I still think the Elite Strap is the most comfortable strap. I haven't been paid to say that. Oculus have no idea who I am. Although they did use some of my teachers in the Halloween video. So they might. But yeah, okay, so what have I got them on? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Elite's most comfortable, stock, least comfortable. Now, the stock strap has a secret weapon from VR Cover that I got sent the other day for free. Thank you very much, VR Cover. Is this a game changer for the stock strap? Because this is not expensive. Uh, about £15, I think. So obviously cheaper than the actual straps. So it goes on just like the ones for the Quest 1. So wrapping around the strap like this. Right, one complaint before I close it. One complaint with the stock strap is that these adjusting bits here dig into people's heads. And now, because they've been covered with pad, they do not. It goes on in the same way. Let's put the facial interface in. So there it is, nice VR cover branded head strap padding, it goes on quite nice. Obviously now I can't just adjust it, so you've got to adjust it yourself first, however you want it. So I'm going to do the top strap first, because the top strap is massively important with the stock strap. So I have to undo these, pull it tighter. There we go, that'll do. Close it up again. And that's it. And it goes on so fast. It comes off and goes on so fast. Just because it's just like the stock strap. The quest question is, with this on, is this more comfortable than any of those straps? The answer to that is no. However, it probably becomes twice as comfortable as it currently is which still doesn't make it as comfortable as one of these, but it is half the price, I think. What it does, it stiffens it up a bit, so it's not so floppy. So it kind of, it's just a bit more rigid around your head. It obviously protects your head from these clips, which wasn't actually a big problem for me, but I know it is for some people. And that's it really. It just, it just feels a bit nicer on your head. The problem with this stock strap is still that to get it tight, it still has to push against your face, which is, which is similar to, uh, to some of the other straps, just not, not the halo strap. But I don't personally have to wear them pushing against my face that tight, but I do have to wear the stock strap pushing against my fa face. But it is, I feel that is pretty comfortable. But this is talking as someone who was okay with the stock strap before. Not as comfortable as these, but not as bad as a lot of people have said. So if you are looking for a cheap alternative to any of these straps, like a really cheap alternative, and one that looks nice because it goes really well, it's a perfect colour. Obviously, it's, it's quality as well because it's by VR Cover who make quality covers and uh, accessories. But another great thing about this is you retain the compactness of the original stock strap. So it will go in to your little cheap case like that, or if you use, or if you use one of these, you're kind of all right just to kind of fling it into a bag as well. So that is one massive advantage of this because I have been having my Quest just sitting on top of my case for the past uh, month or so since I've been using a different strap, and it's really annoying. So I'm still looking for a case that's going to take. Well, probably this one. I think it's going to be attached to that one the most. I'm hoping to get another Quest. I think one's going to have an Elite battery strap, which uh, Jess is going to use. And then one's going to have this on, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to have to find a case for that. Jess, if we get the Elite battery strap, it's going to come with one of these. For the price of that, which I'm going to put on the screen, because it's starting to slip my mind how much it was. But that definitely does improve the stock strap. It just makes it a bit more solid, a bit more substantial, a bit less floppy. Gives, it makes it more, it gives more to it, I like it. So, they are the straps. We've put them in order of comfort, we've put them in order of price, uh, headphones, you know what, now this is here, we might as well check if the Mantis will fit on them. I don't think they will, but. If you wanted to then, stock strap, Bionic Mantis, fits, works. Actually, that's not bad at all. 
And then you could probably, if you had this VR cover, you could probably hide the wires inside as well, running it through there. That'd be pretty decent, actually. Here we have the Bionic Mantis, stay still, headphones attached to the Quest 2 with stock strap with the wires going through the Velcro, around there, and quite tidily going into there. And that could probably even be improved even more, like that. Look at that, that's tidy, that is. That wasn't this tidy on any of the other straps. I like that. Look at me, my Bionic Mantis stock strap. Oh, I ain't on it, there we go. Uh, look at that, that's cool, that's cool. Like it. So there we go, I'm gonna finish there. Uh, back to the studio. If you've got any questions at all about any of these straps, do leave it in the comments below. Uh, studio Me recorded it before all of this. So uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, he'll probably just say something like, there you have it, or something like that. But um, yeah, all good straps in their own way. Expensive, very expensive. Probably not worth £120, but it is a really good strap. That's annoying, having to get that on all the time. I'd love some sort of quick release kind of thing for that, so I can just clip it on really quick. It's, it's, it's easy to take off, but it's hard to put on. Right, that's it then, back to the studio. So there we have it, links to the straps are in the description below and it's nice to know that you can't really go wrong no matter which one you choose. That is of course if you can actually get an elite strap and it's not a dodgy one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment, then be sure to subscribe. And if you can't get enough of the cauldron and want to see previews of VR stuff I'm testing and other random stuff, then come and find us on Instagram. So, I've been Al, thanks for watching the VR Cauldron, take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you next time. See ya!